<laughs> no, it's just, it's just so pathetic. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family. Welcome, welcome to the mental house with me, your host, Khadija. All right, most of you black people under the sound of my voice, I'm going to diagnose y'all, and I hope that you go down to get your check. <laughs> because you, according to the Dr. Samuel Cartwright, have dreptomania. And this is y'all problem. Our whole problem is detrimania, a dreptomania, the desire to flee servitude. That's a disease. The desire to free slavery. I just want y'all to know that shit. Crazy. Crazy. Mad philosophy that was inflicted upon us by Europeans that said because we wanted to be free, we have a disease. This is all up under uh, medical apartheid, by the way. Medical racism. This is the kind of stuff that we don't talk about or don't see. The, that's why, even though I got that DSM book, that's why I got to just turn it back. Because I'm like, yeah, these are the things that they diagnose us about. But who diagnosing y'all asses? Because y'all are so, you have a history of being so demonic and beastly. Nobody wasn't bothering you. We was minding our own business. And because we have a peaceful nature. See, y'all couldn't, is the ones that really, really, really couldn't get along with each other. We had tribal wars, of course, of course. But to the fact that we wanted to dominate and subdue the way y'all have and have done, hell to the norm. And it was on our own land. Y'all some bold. <laughs> now, watch it, Khadija. You was very bold. So you start branching out when all four of y'all got together. Germany, France, um, who is it? Germany, France, England, and Amer uh the uh, Americas. When they done decided, look, y'all they got all the goodies over there. They got all the tropical weather, all the gold, all the and the Belgians. They got all oh, that's who it was. And they got all the just the natural resource and minerals and everything over in these Caribbeans and in Africa. And we don't have shit. Because we ain't shit. That's really basically what, and oh God. Sorry, you guys. I have to watch my mouth. Um, so basically, that's what the uh, whole realization was for the European. That they had no resources. They had, they they didn't have anything, and they weren't gonna be spared in life if they didn't get that a hand on the resources that laid within the um, the Gold Coast and the Congo's and, and the Caribbeans and the oil and the wealth of the nation. The thing about it, and because we are so rich with it, and I want us to really understand this, all jokes aside. Another way of looking at it is because we're so rich with it, everything that comes up out of Africa, whether it's been transplanted or whatever, is heaven, is gold. Okay? And the reason why we didn't trip on them like that, they said they're so humble, they're so meek, they're so. Let's just take advantage of them because of their meek neighbor, uh, their meek nature. However, because we had everything and because we knew we were the cradle of all civilization, we looked at the world as, huma as, as humanitarians would. And so now these demons have flipped the script. That's what I mean by the, uh, the, the projection. They've they projected all the craziness onto us, you know, like um, um, again, 
doing all these crazy experiments on us. Margaret Sanger, um, those eugenicists, and all of them coming to the conclusion that we were the barbarians, that we were the problem. When you came and invaded some other place that you didn't even belong and start raping and pillaging and stealing. But yet and still, you thought you were superior. You were the true savage on the earth. And the same programming has never changed. It's a diabolical um, programming, a racist programming that is so basically insane that it does belong in the mental house because it's the order of the day. Sam Cartwright believed that black people needed to be kept in a childlike state to prevent them from running away. In fact, he said health, uh, slavery was healthy um, because it encouraged discipline and direction and it, it was sparing us from being savages. Now, they call it, it said we savages because we didn't have a lot of clothes on. Right? That was one of the reasons. Now, what kind of fool would think that you would be running around with clothes on and it's 100 degrees or better every day? So they dress for the weather, right? But here come these crazy Europeans with the top hats and the ruffle shirts and the knickerbocker and the crazy uh, looking attire. <laughs> if they were. I mean, I'm just saying. And they didn't look at themselves as looking stupid to the African. Well, the African probably said, well, where you came from, you need that. Because we were analytical thinkers like that. And I'm just amazed. Without just trying to be, you know, mean, I'm just like, when you look at history and how we got here, I don't even understand coming up with shit like dreptomania and um, those kind of categories for black thinking and black bodies. When you are so psychotic that you can actually put this and use it as a mantra to define a people, it's like, when does somebody get to define you? We need to change all this stuff around and begin to challenge your psyche. All these studies and stuff that y'all have the power to do. Now we should get the Mexicans and the uh, 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 Native American and all of them to do a study on what they think their experience would you have been. And what kind of savages or what kind of humans do they think that you are? I think it's a problem that y'all are doing all the right and, and beginning to examine everybody else. Now it's time for all the other groups to get together to examine this white man and his psyche. And I think it's very important so we can have peace. So y'all can see how y'all really are and how we see y'all. Because a lot of y'all, when y'all hear this stuff back right now, you cringe. You're like, oh, no, 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 that's not true. That's not true. Because you have this cognitive dissonance. And, of course, you haven't been taught this in school. So it's hard for you to believe this craziness. I know. But I still want you to know that Wherever you are on the planet Earth, you are not a native of that place. You came and took it. And you need to understand how everybody feels about you. You don't get to write the script for the world no more. Because basically, you're barbaric. And the fact that it just be fitting that you would cap off your madness with somebody like Donald Trump in office. Because now nobody nobody respects uh, what was once a so-called great nation. Because no great nation would hire a psychopath like that into office, right? A person that 
has allies and stuff, and then just turn him off and go against everything and just come in like you're trying to start trouble, like you're trying to uh, uh, be aggressively dominating over somebody. Hmm? Well, it was dumb then, and it was, and it's going to be dumb now. Because what is going to be fitting is most of the population are people of color. And wherever you've gone on the planet, you've caused a lot of chaos. And then you get to write stuff like Dr. Cartwright and put it in books like the DSM and have those of us who like to study psychology and things of that nature or the mind. Uh, Look at your madness and then see the racism that you try to inject into everything. Everything. So, even when I read the DSM, it's like, how many, how, how much do y'all think this is your behavior? And how the world sees you. How many of y'all ever thought about that? Probably not enough. But this dreptomania is really, really crazy. I mean, out of all the damn things, <laughs> how in the, in the world can you come up with a freaking category or name for a person having a desire to want to flee? Your raping, robbing, mistreatment, and abuse. But you get to write the narrative. You get to write the shit. What it, uh, was it Napoleon? He said, history is a set of lies agreed upon. Okay? So y'all already know, y'all have to reject everything from this white history that you've been taught. Because they're nothing but a bunch of uh, liars and bandits and thieves. And if this is the standard that we're learning from, then that means we have to show a balanced side and say, okay, if this is the way y'all want to say it, well, let's just try to show you this from this perspective. This is our side. So, and you know they don't want to hear because this is his story. He likes to say we got dreptomania. Okay, and those things like that. So let's say we do. Okay? We all got it. And like Dr. King said, we want our check. And everything else that we owe. Because now you saying that we're crazy because we have the desire to flee you and to flee your mistreatment? No, 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 no. I think you're the one that's highly deceived and insane and projecting the madness and the psychosis of the European mind upon us. Straight out of the minds of white people. And I know that hurts, but it has been in direct conflict with black people. I just got to say it. At the end of the day, dreptomania is what we got. Yes, we do.